Shalom, beloved. A word. Ministering angel. Ministering angel. What shall we say about ministering angel? We are in the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 7. And of the angels, he saith, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. There are angels who worship the Most High Yah, all of them do. But there are angels who are called ministers, flames of fire. They are sent to help the servants of the Most High. And of the angels, he saith, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. To be a minister is to be a servant. A servant. That's what a minister is, beloved. <clears throat> there are angels who are sent to answer questions, to give protection to be encouraging to mortals, to mortals. Even when Yeshua had fasted 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness and had been tempted of Satan, when it was over, the ministering angels came and ministered to him. But do angels minister to mere mortals? Yes, they do. Believe. Some bring messages. Some bring protection. How do we know this, beloved? How do we know this? Now, let me say, before I go into this, some people, they will pray. They will ask for help. They will ask for help. But they don't receive the help that they ask for. Why? Why? Book of James, chapter 4, verse 3. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss. What is amiss? that ye may consume it upon your lust. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your lust. Some people make requests, and they receive not the request they ask for, because they ask with an evil heart. It may be somebody they're jealous of, and they want to see that person fall. It may be that they desire a man or a woman that they cannot have, and the reasons they desire them don't line up with the law and the word of the Most High. They don't want to marry the woman. They don't want to marry the man. They want to use them because of what they have, or how they look, who they are. But they don't have any good intentions towards that man or that woman. They ask amiss that we have them. And they receive nothing. Some ask that they may consume it upon their lusts. They ask for money. Not because they want to take care of the family, pay their bills, do the right thing. They ask for a lot of money so that they can make a lot of other people feel bad or make a lot of people look up while they look down. They ask amiss. Book of James, chapter 4, verse 3. Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss. That ye may consume it upon your lust. They don't even want to glorify God. 
Yahuwah. They want to take credit for everything. Be it their home, their car, their job, their man, their woman, their children, their everything. They want to be the one that did it all. These people ask and they receive not because they ask amiss for love. But when ye ask correctly, you know, it is the father's joy to give to his children. It's his joy to give to his children. Mm. How does some of these things come to one? You have a question and you can't get an answer. You're not asking them this. You're asking correctly. Book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 7. And of the angels, he saith, who maketh his angels spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire. Mm. They minister. These particular ones that I'm speaking of to the children of the Most High Yah. How do we know they do that? Mm. How do we know? Well, when we look in the book of Daniel, chapter 6, verse 1, Daniel was in the line then. There was a lot of people that loved Daniel, but nobody had enough courage, heart, to want to go down in that line then and help Daniel. But an angel went down and closed the lion's mouth. Ministering angel went down into that lion's den with Daniel and closed those lion's mouth. Ministering angel, beloved. Yes. When Elijah was surrounded by an army, His servant was like, it's over for us. Whew. Elijah said, open his eyes, Lord. Why? An army of angels surrounded Elijah. Second Kings chapter 6, protecting him, ministering angels. Yes, yes. Psalm 91 talks about it. He gave his angels charge over thee to protect thee wherever thy go. He gave his angels charge over thee. When you need protection, you can call unto Yah to give you protection. He giveth his angels charge over you to protect you wherever you go. Mm, mm. We look in the book of Acts, chapter 12, when Peter was thrown into jail. And the brothers and sisters were praying for him. He was chained. He was bound between two jailers when the angel of the Lord entered into the prison. There is no place that can hinder the entry of the Most High God. His ministering spirits, the angel, when he wants to send help for his beloved. Mm. Drop the shackle. Let Peter out. Let him out. Peter thought he was in a vision. Okay. We know what Yah can do for his beloved. Okay. Now, to finish these ministering angels that the Most High sends, He sends them giving you messages, beloved. Messages. These are pure spirits. Pure. A lot of us, we cannot see them. So they send messages through conversations we hear. 
It can be in a record plane. It could be a sign that you pass by on the road. Those ministering angels will draw your eye. They'll wake you up in the middle of the night with one thought, one thought, one thought. Ministering angels getting that message to you. They will speak to you in numbers. Getting that message to you. Now, some people, they go so far as to worship angels. No, beloved. No. Mm -mm. No. Book of Revelations, chapter 22, verse 9. John is talking to an angel. Then saith he unto me, the angel was speaking to John, See thou do it not. For I am, he started to bow down to the angel. As a matter of fact, we're going to go, book of Revelations chapter 22 verse 8. Let's go to verse 7. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. But then he, the angel, saith unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophet, and of them which keep the saying of this book. Worship Yah. Whom do we worship, beloved? We worship Yah. Worship Yah. Even the angel in the book of Revelations, chapter 22, verse 9. He's telling John. He's showing John. He's guiding him through that prophecy and those revelations. But when John falls down to worship at the angel's feet, mm, 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 the angel says unto him, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship Yah. So, beloved, as you get those angelic interactions, those ministering spirits, they are sent, those spirits, those ministering angels, to help the elect, to help those who are guaranteed salvation. They help you. They, they keep you safe in some cases. We know when Elijah had ran 40 days and about to die, the angel had to bring food for him and told him, eat. You're not going to make it. But you don't worship them. You worship Yah. Ministering ain't. Okay, beloved? So, when you ask, make sure you're asking with a pure heart. And pure intention. If you want to receive that which you ask for. Ask. And it shall be given. Seek. Ye shall find. Knock. And the door shall be opened unto you. And when we look. Who are some of the beings helping us? Hebrew. Chapter 1 verse 7. And of his of the angels he saith. Who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers servants of flame of fire. They can move faster than the speed of light, faster than the speed of sound. While you're still calling out, they're already there when Yah sends them, beloved. Ministering angels. 
This message is for someone. May it be received in the spirit that the Most High has sent it unto me to give unto his elect. May it bless and keep you. And may his word go forth and accomplish that which he sent it to do. Giving all honor, all praise, all glory to the Most High Yah. In the name of Yeshua. Shalom. Amen. Shalom.